Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for smart software walkthroughs and tech tutorials made simple. In today's video, we are diving into Zoho FSM, Zoho's powerful field service management software, which is perfect for businesses that need to manage service appointments, dispatch technicians, handle work orders, and streamline operations on the go. And do not forget that this video is part of our Zoho series tutorials. And if you are exploring the Zoho ecosystem, make sure to check out our other videos in the playlist. So let's begin. Okay, so the very first and most important step is to head over to the Zoho's official website, which is going to be Zoho.com. Now, we need to create our account here before we can access any of the apps, especially Zoho FSM. By doing so, you just have to click the sign up button. Don't worry, the process is very quick, straightforward and completely user friendly. Just provide all the information needed and to make the account creation faster and easier, you can sign up using your Google, LinkedIn or Microsoft account. Once you have successfully created your Zoho account, I want you to click the access your apps. This will forward you to the apps that is available in the Zoho ecosystem. If you can't find the FSM, all you have to do is hover down below. There's going to be a search bar here and type in FSM. Press enter and there you have it, Zoho products of FSM. Click the try now button and click the access Zoho FSM. This will forward you to the main homepage to quickly access the dashboard. But of course, before that, you need to provide all the information needed. At this point, it's very important to just follow the on-screen instructions. All right, click the let's get started, setting up your, um, so the name is gonna be, let's say how to use Zoho FSM. That's gonna be our um, name of the business. Now you need to choose the industry, residential or commercial. We're gonna be using commercial. Select, for example, this case. In this case, we're gonna be choosing something like maybe um, parking lot or commercial painting services. It's very important for you to provide as much as information as you can because it helps with the Zoho FSM algorithm to provide a customizable dashboard dependent on your preferences, okay? And if you want to uh, use existing invoice or books organization, you can do that. But if you want to create a new invoice organization, you can do that as well here. Since again, as I've mentioned earlier, this is part of our Zoho series of tutorials. We have discussed on how to use Zoho expense. You might want to watch that first before you go to Zoho FSM because that is partly like, um, integrated and they work both hand in hand. Since I have already created an invoice, I'm going to use this instead. I'm going to click on the next button. And then from here, I'm going to click the save and continue. Loading times may vary. So I wanted to make sure that you are connected to a stable internet connection. And if you are having issues accessing the Zoho website, you might want to use a VPN because that sometimes could interfere with the loading times and the connection. And as you may notice, once you are connected, you would easily notice that you can begin your 15 day free trial with a Zoho FSM and we can create our first work order by clicking the create now button. From here, it's very simple. Provide the, the summary. Priority is something like um, low for now. Due date is something like maybe um, August, uh, let's say August, August 1st. Search company if you don't have that. And for now, we're going to click the save button if we, so the contact is mandatory. We need to create our, our first contact here. So um, let's say um, um, professor. Okay. So let's say test at email.com and then let's click the save button for now. And hopefully that uh, for the address, now that we have that already covered. Okay. So. We're going to go here in this section. Now, once everything is set up, the getting started is the onboarding hub where new users like you learn how to use Zoho FSM. All right. So you have like a step-by-step -step guides, setup wizards, and of course the let's get you started. You need to add your organization details, set up your services, add your team and configure your email if you want that. 
And of course, remember that this is part of our Zoho series tutorials and you can explore more features like Zoho CRM, desk integration, and a lot more. Okay, so this is where you can configure your FSM workspace and get operational very quickly. The homepage is going to be your dashboard overview where you get a snapshot of your field service operations, including like key metrics, for example, number of work orders or revenue, upcoming appointments if you have that. Later on, we're going to create our, our first appointment to give you a real-time overview of what's happening across your field service business. Since this is a newly created account, we don't have anything yet in place. The customer is where you can store and manage all your customer information. For example, you have contacts, companies, and assets. We're going to deal with the contacts first. All right. So to keep track of your clients and their past or ongoing service requests, you might want to click the create a button. So our first one is going to be um, this. Provide all the information needed and click the save button. It's a similar to the companies if you want to create a new company here. It's very simple. Provide all of the account name, website, email, phone number, and click the save button. And then there is going to be the asset tab, wherein if you want to create a new asset, it's similar to the option earlier. All right. So asset name is going to be like description and click the save button. It's mandatory. All right. So we're going to cancel this and head over to the work order management. This is going to be the core feature of FSM where you can create requests, estimates, work orders, service appointments, service reports, and scheduled maintenance. For example, if you want to create a new work order, you can do that by clicking the uh, section here. You just have to create a new one, create a work order, and provide all the information needed. It's similar to creating anything here. For example, um, service appointments, you can do so. Click that and provide all the information needed. All right. So for example, this, and you need to schedule that. For example, schedule time is going to be like maybe August 1st, I'm ending in um, August 3rd. Let's see that service res resources that and click the schedule and dispatch if you want. But you need to provide all of the information here before you can move forward. All right. And then the dispatch console is the visual scheduling board used to assign work orders to field technicians, including drag and drop interface right here. You can drag and drop new fil filtered orders. You can create a new one if you want. With this, technician can know which is their availability and routes. You can have real time updates so that you can optimize scheduling, reducing travel time, and ensuring better resource allocation. And of course, the billing is handles all the invoicing and payments. All right, if you want to create your first invoice, you can do that. It's very simple. Create the invoice. You want to make sure that you choose the right order. Click the next button. You need to select one service line for that. Okay, and then click that. So we're going to choose this. Click the next button and this is going to be our first invoice. Okay. And then click the generate invoice. It's very simple because with this, you can generate invoice for completed jobs, apply taxes and discounts. You can track payments so that you can streamline financial transactions after service delivery. That's the purpose of billing. And again, if you want to create your own payments, you can do so. Just follow again the same procedure as creating your invoice create payment and select the company and the contact right here. Now the service and parts refers to the section that you can manage the inventory of services and spare parts like um, service catalogs, parts inventory and pricing. You can create a new one if you want. Say for example, new part, new parts. Unit is like maybe um, dozen. Unit price is maybe like 6.9. SKU, click the save button so that you ensure technicians have what they need and customers are built accurately because you can now have the parts and venerated pricing, usage tracking, and work order. And of course, the workforce manages your field staff and technician. You have the users, crew, attendance, equipment, trips, and time off. Now, with this, 
you can efficiently assign the right technician to the right job. You can also create a time off if you want. Okay, and then provide all the information needed. Similar to creating a new crew right here. You have now the availability and schedules, their profiles and skills. Crew name, description, and click the save button. All right. Last that I'm going to discuss here is the report section. The report section gives you the ability to evaluate performance and identify bottlenecks and improve decision making. All right. Because you can now have a work order completion. You have revenue, technician performance, and customer satisfaction. Now, with, with the, all of this in mind, if you feel that Zoho FSM is going to be the platform that answers your business needs, I want you to click the upgrade button. All right, because we are using the free trial and it's kind of limiting. If you wanted to unlock all the full features of Zoho FSM, you can choose from the following pricing plans. The standard comes around $300 per year and you get to have all these perks and benefits. And of course, the professional is around 420 per year and you get to have all these. But again, as um, my piece of advice, you leverage the free trial, immerse yourself with the platform so that you can um, get yourself accustomed to it. And if you feel that uh, this is going to be the platform, just upgrade whenever you feel you need to. All right. Well, with that being said, thank you so much for watching our walkthrough of Zoho FSM. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss the next episode in our Zoho series tutorials. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.